What's up, YouTube? And what you know? My name is Domino with the Zero. Welcome to episode 36 of our Pokemon Reborn playthrough. In the last episode, which was, I don't know, sometime last week, uh, we made it here to the Apophil Academy and we went around and talked to everybody and heard, learned a whole lot about energy and our mind and a whole bunch of stuff like that. So if you want to check that out, do click the i card at the top of the screen. In today's episode, I think we're going to go south from here to meet up with wh whoever the gym leader is and uh, continue on from there. So if you're excited for today's episode of Pokemon Reborn, go ahead and hit the like button down below. Do subscribe if you're new. And uh, let's start off with the team recap because it has been a while since I have played Pokemon. It has been a while. Actually, you know what? I think I remember some stuff that I said I was going to do that I did not do. But we have Shiny Trash, our Garbodor. I don't need to check everything. Mirror B, who needs to evolve. He's either going to evolve at 40 or 44. That's what we said. Uh, Nabaris, Pajiramon, Blastburn, and Mercedes. Okay. I'm remembering some of this stuff. Now, um, I didn't... There wasn't an episode on Friday. There hasn't been any videos for a few days. Um, once Emerald ended, I kind of went on a little reset. Just kind of reset myself for this, uh, this push towards Ultra Sun and Moon. So, that's where we're at today. I think I'm supposed to go down this way. But I don't know, am I supposed to go... Can I go up this way? Are there battles to be had this way? Are there items to be found? Are there secret items? I bet there are. Oh, uh, well, I can't rock climb, so I can't go... So, whoever... Who's gonna come back? Iris Mountain. I feel like I should not be in there right now. I feel like that's the next thing. But yeah, I wound up taking a break um, after Emerald ended, but we're back now. Uh, even recording this, though, I don't exactly know what my second video of each day is gonna. We'll see how we'll see how it plays out. But I think I'm gonna take out some of these trainers before I head down. Shiny Trash is not the one for this one. Tonight, I'm going to a pre-release. Uh, that's cool. Oh, cool. For first attack, and we get paralyzed. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to a pre-release for the Crimson Invasion set that just came out, or is coming out. Uh... Primate. I remember saying that I wanted to get everything up to level 40, but I just haven't played any Pokemon since the last, pretty much probably since the last time I played this. When I finished Emerald, Digimon Lynx has been taking up most of my time, to be honest. Come on, Lee, I'm gonna go ahead and switch. I really need Shiny Trash. If if Shiny Trash is going to stay on the team, I need her to get stronger. Also, I, I'm curious of how the sound is going to be in this. Uh, because the window behind me, or I guess the door that sits behind me, is open. Uh, my back door. You can probably see like the lighting moving around. Yeah, you can definitely see it. But the weather is great, so I'm trying to let my apartment air out some for the first time in a while. Oh, wait, I need to heal. Uh, do I need to run in there to heal? But I hope there's no, like, loud random noises. Uh... Oh, no, I don't want to parallel. I shouldn't have used that last super potion. Alright, so... Who are you? Okay, you're just a battler. <laughs> I don't know where we're at in this. Actually, you know what? I bet I bet I could look to find out um, where we're at, like in this game. Counter? Who do you think I am? Poisoned? Poison, please kill! Poison, please kill! Ah, oh, let's just go for Sledge. 
See, Shiny Trash is doing some work. Bro. Eh. Storm throw. That was a crit. Wait, how does that work? It said weak armor lowered my defense. That answered that question. <laughs> Let's switch. Who's my next weakest? Alright, Mirror B, come on and you can take this. I had no intention of taking the couple days off that I did. It just, it's just kind of how it worked out with my work schedule on top of uh, what I had recorded. And then recording another episode was just going to take extra time that I didn't have. And I just didn't want to record at night. I don't know. It was a mixture of a whole bunch of things. We should be back though. We'll see what we do but until Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I kind of want to make that weekend that we do Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon episode one. I kind of want to make that a big, a big release. Like, uh, there's a couple co-op projects, or at least one co-op project that I'm really thinking I want to do. Uh, that we might try to do around that time as well. But we're going to be doing two episodes of, or at least two episodes of Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon every day. We'll see. We'll see. We got a lot to think about. Uh, there's definitely an item right here. Also, I think last episode was the episode that I, like, exploded in anger when I couldn't... Uh... I'm not going further? Okay. This is the kind of game that would, like, hide a door, like, right over there or something. I know there's, like, something that happens up this way that I really don't want to go to. Let me just... Just in case I do hit an event that I'm not intending on hitting right now. Okay. I don't remember this at all. Okay. That's not where we're going. Let's head back. I guess we just healed. So we're just going to head straight down. And I think we do have a series of battles. Maybe it's like a little tournament. Um, where we fight people to make it to fighting the gym leader or something like that. I think that's what we have next. Alright. Also, I just realized I sat down after working out without, uh, without eating anything. And I kicked the smirk right off my face. Did you know that I have 20 years of Taekwondo? Like, off and on, of course, but like, actually, like, and like a lot of years of Taekwondo. So, I say, try it. I say, try it. Can I two hit KO? Tiny Trash is fast. Hit my own top. Also, I'm wondering if in this time, if we can get more people watching Reborn. Because that would be great. I would love for more people to give this game a chance because this is an amazing game. I probably should have switched up to Sludge because now I only have five Sludge Bombs left. Oops. That's okay. A Tyrogue. Oh no, fake out! So what is that? If I get hit by a physical move, it lowers my defense and raises my speed? That's interesting. Why did Sludge do so much? That's actually, that's what it looks like. So if I get hit by a physical move... Uh... Whatever I said. I like this. I like this. We got some training to do. This is exactly what we needed, actually. Battle Girl Tina. We also need to think about restructuring the team just a little bit. Uh, I 
My hope is that you only heard one of those sounds that was that were behind me because of the little filter thing that I have on. Uh, let's go into Mirror B because I think we have knockoff. We can fake out into knockoff and should kill this thing. I don't know if it's going to kill, but it will certainly do a chunk. No! Okay, that's fine. Now, what can I... Meditite? Okay, sure. We'll switch into uh, Mercedes. Actually, yeah, yeah. We can't take a future site with um, shiny trash. And actually, this will probably kill. And now Mer... Well, that's okay. Because I wouldn't have killed one way or another. Ooh, it's finally time for Psychic. Psychic over extrasensory? I mean, yes, but... Do I need light screen? Yeah, I need light. Alright, that's fine. I can't believe we're only at level 40. Like... I was talking to Shofu and, like, this game is so long. That's okay, it's a really good game. Ah, scoot over. That, that one one step syndrome. I cannot move one step. But Apophil Academy is a little bit of a laggy area. Like look at that. I'm just I'm just walking. So I think this is the last battle, maybe. And then we're going to depending on how well. Man, how this goes, we might go back and heal. Here's a nose pad. What type is nose pass? I don't know, but Mirror B can tell. It just used discharge, didn't it? Admittedly, I don't know why that did so little. It should. Shouldn't that be super effective on me? I mean, it's obviously not super effective. I, I don't know. I don't know my type chart. Okay, let's heal on the off chance that we do have an important battle coming up. I don't remember where the gym battle takes place. I would imagine it takes place inside here. I wonder if that will be today as well. No idea. I have absolutely no idea. Actually, maybe that would be good. As the... Since we're trying to make this episode... Try, trying to get more people to... I think I see where I'm supposed to stand. Oh, I already talked to her. Long walks and talk. So where exactly am I supposed to stand? Am I supposed to stand... What if I... What if I come down here? I feel like if I rock smash this, there's an item hidden behind there. What if I stand here? Let's talk to her. Greetings, are you a new student? I see, welcome. Please, have a seat. Now, for today's lecture, actually, you know what? That's fine. We'll be reviewing the final principle for this curriculum, the art of void. Void is the acknowledgement of that which cannot be known. It is the understanding that all ideas are in themselves folliable. For that reason, this principle cannot be taught, only considered. Many people believe that some things are right and correct, and others are not. But these are not the laws of the world. When examining these ideas objectively, one finds that they are in themselves a deviance from the broader sense of existence. 
Concepts such as virtues and evil must not be given way to exist, for this is not the true void. By perceiving that which exists, learn to perceive that which is not. All things, even this instruction, must be questioned. That will be all for today. Thank you. Alright, cool. And that- no, I'm kidding. Uh, so let's talk to her. Hello again. Please allow me to formally welcome you as a student of Apophil Academy. We are honored to have earned your faith, and I learn forward to, uh, look forward to observing your diligence and growth in the coming weeks. I'll assign you a dormitory and schedule as soon as you return to the Academy. You came seeking the machine for strength? It is in my possession. However, it is only typically awarded to graduating students of the Academy. Everything in due time. For now, please meet me in my room at the Academy and we will officially enroll you. Alright. Well, that was pretty cut and dry what we're supposed to do from here. Okay. No battles there, so let's... Oh! <sighs> what was... Vi Victoria had, like, the normal voice, right? Domino! <clears throat> that was not a normal voice. I finally caught up to you. Victoria, is that you? I thought you left for training. Yes, I was going to, but so many other important things have been happening. We have to speak to Kiki at once. Is she in her room? I think I just saw her come in. Okay, good. I'm going ahead. Are you okay? Are you Victoria's friend? You're very lucky. She's the top student here in Apophil. Everyone loves her, but even Kiki took her as a personal apprentice. The last time I faced Victoria, she whooped my butt. I mean, she whooped my butt, if I remember right. Why is Kiki's room so small? I see. So you need the machine to save the kidnapped children. Kidnapped children. Incidentally, this new student also came to me asking for that. I do not suppose that is a coincidence? <laughs> no, not at all. This is Domino, a very good friend of mine. We're working to save them together. Right. Truly, I am moved by your plight. However, as you well know, Victoria, I can only award that machine to a graduating student of our academy. One must attain, in one must attain inner strength before acquiring worldly strength. And to disregard that procedure is to disrespect every student who has followed it before. Then, Sensei, I wish to apply for graduation. So you will. I expected I suspected you might finally ask. This may best be this may be best given my worsening condition. Sensei. But never mind that. You mustn't let inner turmoil can uh, complicate outside affairs. Victoria, you, were you successful in your challenge of the Reborn Lee as I had asked of you? I admit, Sensei, I was not. So much was going on that I had other priorities. I see. But it's unfortunate, being that the machine requires a certain badge. And how about yourself, Domino? Domino can do it. He has lost the badges already, and one more won't be a problem. So you intended to pass off the machine to an outsider regardless. I suppose it cannot be helped, but knowing that that, it, knowing that that is your intention, I must test Domino as well. Victoria, you stay here and test for graduation. Domino, your challenge lies elsewhere. As you should know, Apophil lies in shadow of one of one Pyrus Mountain, a volcanic mountain. After all, it is the ash their form that grants the beach it grays hues. Yeah, you can definitely hear the cars behind me at the moment and the garage under me that keeps opening and closing. I'm gonna wait. Cool. Atop Pyrus Mountain is one of my newest, finest students. That's... Oh, goodness. I have faith in your companion, Victoria. Climb the mountain. Find my student. Challenge him. If you are successful, you may have the machine. Good luck. Already? So do I not have to take on... Kiki? I thought I had to battle Kiki. Why is she pass? Oh, because her worsening condition. I, I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. But we're going to get started climbing it. Um, no, that's not what I wanted. I only have four badges. <laughs> and apparently there are... I can see 18. Are there really 18 badges? Uh, I, was, I, was, I was actually going to look at the map now that I think about it. Let's look at the map. Okay, so I'm down to like Iris Mountain. 
Apophil Cave. Okay, I guess Apophil Cave is not where I'm supposed to go. She said to climb Pyrus Mountain. Oh, Domino! Sorry, I just wanted to wish you good luck. The student Kiki's talking about, his name is Cal. He was actually once the fire-type leader of the Reborn League, but he retired and came here after something bad happened. Anyways, he's really strong and sort of cute. I mean, wait, Victoria! I thought... I did not just say that. Oh, yes. In order to get to the very far... In order to get very far into Pyrus Mountain, you may have to drain the lava from the upper floors. If you look, there should be choke points in between the levels, and sometimes they get clogged up. Just give it... Just give it the right... Uh, just give the right one a good smash to clear it, and you'll be good to go. Say hi to Cal for me, please. And don't worry about my test. I am the top student of Apophil Academy for a reason. Wow, that... I... I'm kind of... <sighs> so Victoria's been leading me on. Only hanging out with me, cause... Ugh. Wild. Take that step! Take that step! It's a very, very, very laggy area. Oh my goodness. There we go. Let's go, game. Let's go game. Alright, so we are here in Pyrus Mountain. Actually, you know what? Let's not do it like that. Let's go ahead and end today's episode right there. Um, today we did do a whole bunch of battles and we talked to Kiki a whole bunch. And we know what our next objective is. So if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you hit the like button down below. In the next episode, which will be coming on Wednesday, um, we will make our way to the top of Pyrus Mountain and take on Cal, I believe. Assuming that we have enough time to do all of that. Um, so again, if you enjoyed today's episode, go ahead and hit the like button down below. Do subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you on Wednesday for the next episode of Pokemon Reborn. Until then, have a blessed day.